Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so, so excited about today's video because normally I'm bare faced at this time and I'm getting ready to show you like how I do my face, how I get glammed up and that is fun. I love doing that. But I think I love today's video even more because I'm showing you how I get unready, how I take my makeup off, what products I use and what products I use like skincare afterwards. Uh, to basically get ready for bed. I don't know about you guys, but seriously, this is like my most favorite time of the day because I will have my full face on and I am thinking in the back of my head like when is it time to go home, put my hair up into a bun, put my PJs on, and take it all off. I don't know. It's just like when you have your bra on, you're like, mm, this is great and all, it's doing the job, but I need to take it off now, so. <laughs> Okay, so I think that we should quit the chit chat and get right into it. Thumbs up this video if you guys love taking off your makeup as much as me. All right, let's get started. All right, it's go time. I like to start off with coconut oil. No particular brand, it can be any type of coconut oil. This is just the one that I've been using and I like to take a little bit of it, start to work it between my fingers. I almost forgot I had lashes on, so it's important to remove those first. And then I start to rub that all over the skin. Try to be as gentle as possible. That's pretty, right? But the coconut oil does such a good job at breaking down all of the makeup. I wanna say I've been doing this method for like a couple months now, but I'm obsessed because it works so well. Then it's time to tie the hair up because we're gonna rinse the face off now. I skipped past that part just because you guys get the point. I just got rid of all the excess makeup and oil that was sitting on the face. And now I'm using the Vanity Planet Ultimate Skin Spa. And this is a daily cleansing brush that you can use with your fave cleanser. Uh, I'm just using soap because that's what I normally use. I'm just keeping it real with you guys. It has two speed settings. I'm using it on the slower one. It's a little bit more gentle. And I just brush this all over the face to deep clean, removing any makeup that I didn't get before with just the oil and there are three brush heads I'll show you the other two in a sec but I love using this one for every day because it's gentle enough that you actually can use it every day and I kept seeing other beauty girls on YouTube talking about these brushes and that got me curious number one and then Vanity Planet reached out to me asking if I wanted to try one and I was like uh yeah so since I've been using it I've noticed my makeup's been going on a lot better I think it's because of how smooth this leaves your skin afterwards and I'm also the kind of girl who can't stand to have any little bit of extra makeup left on the skin like before bed I'll keep scrubbing if I see anything left on the face but I do feel like this helps me get it all off so I rinsed off all the gunk towel dried the face and I did want to show you the other two brush heads that come in this case so this is the silicone one that's meant for dry or sensitive skin and you also get one more which is meant for deep cleaning like one to two times a week max because the bristles are a little bit rougher on this one because it's meant for exfoliation. I like this one too. It makes it so smooth. So if you guys are wanting to try this out, Vanity Planet, give me a discount code to share with you guys. Make sure to use the link in my description box and it'll give you 70% off. So now for my nighttime skincare, I start with the Corez Wild Rose Brightening Targeted Tone Corrector, that's a long one, and I dab that onto pretty much the T-zone, and then I spread it out with my fingers. I have freckles and some pigmentation from leftover acne scars, so I'm hoping this is gonna fade and smooth those out. So that's what this is for, and then I layer the Wild Rose Vitamin C Active Brightening Oil over top. I love this product because I think it's so pretty with these rose petals in it, and it also makes your skin feel so soft like so hydrated but not greasy and I can also use this in the day which amazes me still because it's an oil um, and I have like normal combo skin but it's a perfect base for makeup because it gives your skin a nice glow so four to five drops is usually what I'll use and after I've applied it all over I'll finish by pressing it into the skin and the neck to make sure it's all absorbed now, I like to give my skin some time to let the product sink in, so I'll usually find something to do for a few minutes, and that usually ends up being Instagram, so I'll check my feed, and then I'll go back in with an eye cream, and I've started to use the Kiehl's Creamy Eye Treatment with Avocado. I love this stuff. You just need a small dab of it, and I apply that on the bone around the eye. I try to be as gentle as possible, but I'm sure I could be better at that, and I remember I was thinking about this when I found out 
out you're not supposed to apply eye cream to the lid I was like what so in case you are doing that you're actually meant to apply it around the eye like on the bone just because as it heats up like throughout the day or the night it actually moves up and spreads out and you don't want it to get in your eye I didn't know that either but hopefully that helps you out and then my final product I use is the Kiehl's ultra facial oil free gel cream I know there's a lot of skincare, but it's all about layering, and just the oil isn't enough for me, so I add extra hydration with this cream, but what I love about this is that it's a cream that doesn't leave me feeling oily, and I still wake up with super soft skin. So it also absorbs into the skin within seconds, which is another thing I love about it, and that means I can use it in the morning too, because then, I don't have to wait that long before I apply makeup, which is a bonus. And then I finish with a little lip balm because you can't forget about the lips. I cannot stand having dry lips. And we are done. Well, almost done. I realized I still have my bra on. And seriously, like I was saying, there's no better feeling than taking that off, being makeup free, and you were all ready for bed. I know you guys know what I'm talking about. So I hope you guys liked getting unready with me. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked this video or you found it helpful. Click that subscribe button for more videos. You can watch the box on the left for my last video, which was a fresh faced makeup tutorial, or you can click the video on the right to watch my latest vlog. Thanks so much for watching you guys, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.